So today we are going to be doing a makeup video. Um, this is going to be a first impressions on a bunch of new things that I've just recently picked up. If you guys want to see how I got this look and find out about some of these hot new products that are out right now, then definitely keep on watching. Okay, I know I am in my living room, but Alaya is sleeping still. I feel like my eyes are going bad. Today we're gonna to be testing out a bunch of products that I just received. Um, I got this, I showed it to you guys in my vlog. It is the Vanish foundation that just came out. 32 shades and then I got three including the brush. As usual, we are going to prime our face with the hydrating primer. I don't know how this lighting is. Let me know if you guys like this lighting. If, this, if you guys don't mind this lighting or if you do mind it, let me know because um, this is just like the lighting that's in my house and I don't mind it, um, but sometimes I don't realize how it is until post-production. I have a feeling that this foundation is not gonna be as dewy as I want it to be. I think it's meant to be like a natural finish, but it's also meant to be kind of full coverage as well, so I'm going to prep my skin to get that dew. And if it's not dewy enough, we have this guy, so we shall see. I'm going to use the shade Golden. I just matched myself, so Golden seems like it'll be okay. I'm gonna do about half a pump, because it says on the pamphlet to use half a pump with the brush, so. orange for my skin definitely not dewy okay I think it's way too late I'm gonna take golden amber now because I'm realizing that this is the tone is not right medium to full coverage that is for sure and it's also more of like I wouldn't say it's matte natural looking like skin it doesn't feel super heavy on the skin but if you are someone who likes medium to full coverage foundations, I think you're really gonna like this so far. It says that you only need to use half a pump, but I don't have any more product on the back of my hand, so I'm going to use another. I would say you need like about a full pump. That's good. So I'm actually gonna go in with the Beauty Blender now and just kind of blend all this in. I just picked up this guy. This is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. I'd heard lots and lots and lots of reviews about this. I've seen it on blogs. I got mine in the shade Dolce de Leche. Apparently this is also a full coverage concealer. It's supposed to mimic kind of like Tarte Shape Tape, but it's supposed to be way more hydrating. This color I feel like might be a little too dark for my under eyes, but we'll see. I don't know. Oh, it's okay. I'm just gonna use a little first and use my beauty blender. Blend it out. Wow, that blended in like a dream. I do kind of wish I went a little lighter with the concealer, but it's okay. Oh my god, this concealer melts into the skin so well. Watch me blend this in. I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury just to lighten it up a little. We're gonna use a little bit of cream bronzer because we are gonna be using a cream blush and I don't wanna do powders yet. I just kinda wanna get all the creams out of the way. You guessed it, using my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. So now I'm super excited. You guys know how much of a fan I am of the nude sticks all over face colors. I have several different ones. Ray Phillips and Nude Sticks just created a new one and they created two. One's called Sunset Strip, I think, which I kind of wish I picked up, but the one that I was really excited to try was Sunkissed. I'm actually maybe gonna use my fingers. I'm going to swirl it on my fingers. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this color. I think it's gonna look so good. Put on my cheeks and move it backwards. I'm gonna blend it. 
Oh, do you guys see this color? And this stuff is so creamy and like blendable, it's insane. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. Some on my eyes too, just to give my eyes a base. I need to powder. So we are going to use the Hourglass Veil um, Translucent Setting Powder. I thought this was only appropriate to use this because Hourglass Foundation, Hourglass Powder. Powder. Powder on my brush. Take this Morphe eyeshadow palette 15H and it looks like this. Look how pretty. Transition shade right here. It's called Cheers. I just put this all over the lid. I think this is just a really complimentary color to the bronzer because I think it's going to go really pretty. I have this highlight I just bought and I want to use it on camera for the first time. I'm using the Morphe M504. It's one of my favorite blending brushes. I like this brush. I got it in my Ipsy bag. It's like funneled almost, but then it's really fluffy up top. So it like is precise at the same time. I don't know, I think it's cool. I'm gonna use 5 p.m. Put this right on the outer third. Take a clean blending brush. I'm just gonna take this white one, the Morphe, and just blend the edges. All right, I think I wanna take the color Flirt. I'm gonna put that on my lid. And take my brush and blend. I dropped an earring. I'm gonna use On The Rocks. Oh, that's pretty. Next up, we are going to use the NARS Orgasm Illuminating Loose Powder. This, oops, I forgot I kind of opened it already. If you have tan skin, oh my God, this is just gonna look bomb. Put it on my cheekbones. Um, how good this is gonna be. Wow, it's so pretty. I feel like in um, natural lighting, it's gonna look even better. I wanna try it with my finger. This is what I wanted to use on my lid. I'm dead. Oh my god, this is so do you guys see this? Do you see what I'm seeing right now? We're gonna do liner and then I'm gonna put, do my lashes and I'll be right back. So I feel like I need to add a little bit of colored powder onto my face. This is the, um, one of the only few powders I actually like. And I feel, felt like the translucent was washing my face out. <music> Last product we're gonna test out is the Lancome Fix It, Forget It um, spray. It's supposed to be a 24-hour makeup setting mist with plant extracts. Um, I heard this stuff makes your face, your makeup, makes your face stay on all day. So I'm gonna try this. It's kind of a smaller bottle. Hmm. I feel like I had to use a lot with that. But now it looks good. I'm gonna line my lips real quick with my tried and true Marc Jacobs El Coco Liner. I don't think I've ever used this on camera. This is the color called Best Actress. It's also by Charlotte Tilbury. It's this really pretty brown nude. I'm gonna spray a little bit more. I just feel 
like that glow wasn't there yet. Okay, so that is it, you guys. Okay, so overall, I have to say, um, I really like this foundation. I think it's really, like now that I'm seeing it on camera with everything done, the finish of it is beautiful. It really mimics the skin. It sort of reminds me a little bit of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk foundation. Same kind of finish. It's not dewy and it's not matte, but it's like very natural. Um, and you can really like build the coverage with this. I would say this is a little bit more on the fuller coverage side than the Armani. This is meant to be like a full, like medium to full coverage, natural finish foundation. So if you like a full coverage and you want that like filter, like flawless skin look, then I would definitely highly suggest you guys trying it out. I think you'll really like it and there's 32 shades which is pretty impressive as for the sun kissed nude sticks all over face color i could not put this down you guys saw how many times i picked this up um in the video i used it like crazy i just thought it was such a good product i love the color i love tones like this the deep maple a is one of my favorite shades that they have because it's got that like rich mapley terracotta shade but this is more so like been kissed by the sun burnt look i don't know it just it is so pretty as you can see it's on my face i think it's going to be a really great color for me just like all year round even if i do like super natural makeup i wasn't that impressed by this and this is something that's supposed to make your makeup last all day and obviously i'm not going to be able to test that right now so i will be updating you guys about this product on my instagram so don't forget to come follow me there i did like how it dispersed the product really ever so slightly across my face i felt like it wasn't like a spit you know what i mean because i feel like some of them sort of of like shoot product at you and it leaves like splotches and stuff this was like a mist it's it's really finely milled and it just disperses product really nicely i just felt like i had to use a lot of it like i was pumping it like a, a lot you know i'm not 100 percent sold on this but if it does make my makeup last all day um which i like i said i'll update you guys on i really loved this concealer um, I could see myself liking this more than the NARS Ginger Radiant Creamy Concealer because this is a little bit more lightweight on the skin than the Radiant Creamy Concealer. However, this is a lot more hydrating, which is what I really appreciate and what I, it's meant for really like dry skin, but I think it'll work for everyone. I just think it gives a really natural, hydrated under eye like look and I just wish I did get it in a shade lighter. And then the last product I did try today, which was new to the fam was the NARS Orgasm Illuminating Loose Powder. Um, I don't wear highlight all the time. If I'm doing like a full glam or if I'm filming, I usually have highlight on, but I really liked this as a really pretty blush topper. We're like coming out of winter, so we're starting to get a little bit more sun. And I think that this is gonna be one of those products that's gonna be really hot for summer. Um, and it's just gonna, it just makes your skin look really luscious and dewy and just has a really pretty rose gold tone to it. A lot of rose gold products I've tried in the past that are highlighting have always just always looked very like silvery on my skin. My skin picks up rose gold very silvery and like metallic. Um, and I just don't, never really was a big fan of rose gold, but this just did it really well. But it is a very like gold rose gold. I was just really impressed by this. I, I didn't have really high expectations for all these products. I was a little anxious about the foundation, but overall I am so blown away by these products. I thought that they did really well and I think I'm gonna welcome them into my makeup bag. If you guys like videos like this, do give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if any of these products interested you or if you've tried any of these products yourselves. I would love to know how you felt about them. Don't forget you guys to come follow me on my Instagram where I post every single day. I share lots of stuff with you guys. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that post notification bell so that you are notified every single time you see my videos because that bell will make sure that my video comes up whenever I upload. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!